Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, the 23rd of March, 2020. I invite you to pray with me this morning prayer for the fourth week of Lent. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now recite the hymn. The glory of these forty days we celebrate with songs of praise. For Christ, by whom all things were made, himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting Moses saw the loving God who gave the law. And to Elijah, fasting, came the steeds and chariots of flame. So Daniel trained his mystic sight, delivered from the lion's might, and joined the bridegroom's friend, became the hero of Messiah's name. Then grant us, Lord, like them to do such things as bring great praise to you, our spirits strengthen with your grace, and give us joy to see your face. O Father, Son, and Spirit blessed, to you be every prayer addressed, and by all mankind be adored. From age to age, the only Lord. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turned men back to dust and said, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which spring up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers. By evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies apart, open before you, our secrets in the lights of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sight. Our span is seventy years, or eighties for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understand the powers of your anger, and fears the strength of your fury. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom apart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our day. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. So forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on your children. Let the favor of the Lord be open us. Give success to the works of our hands. Give success to the works of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Send your mercy 
and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil. And happy be known as companions of your Son. We will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nation. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its city cry out, the villages where Cater dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastland. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. He have looked away and kept silent. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By path unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into lights before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, May God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the sea. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasury he sent forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptian he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs of wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against pharaohs and all his servants. Nation in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Zion, king of the Amorite, ox, the kings of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Where two or three gather in my name, Lord, you promise to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family, gather here in your name, and graciously pour out your blessing upon us. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. You have seen for yourselves how I brought you up on eagles' wings, and brought you here to myself. 
Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people. Though all the earth is mine, you shall be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snares. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. A royal official, hearing that Jesus has come to Galilee, begged him to heal his son who lay ill in Capernaum. Blessed be the God, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophet, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A royal official, hearing that Jesus had come to Galilee, begged him to heal his son, who lay ill in Capernaum. Bless me, God, the Father, for his gift of the sacrifice of praise. In the spirit of this Lenten season, let us pray. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. God of power and mercy, Give us the spirit of prayer and repentance, with burning love for you and all mankind. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Help us to work with you in making all things new in Christ and in spreading justice and peace throughout the world. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Teach us the meaning and value of creation so that we may join its voice to ours as we sing your praise. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Forgive us for failing to see Christ in the poor, the distressed, and the troublesome, and for our failures to reverence your Son in, the, in their person. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Let us take this moment of silence and bring our personal petition to God. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of king your kingdom. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, Creator, you give the world new life by your sacraments. May we, your church, grow in your life and continue to receive your help on earth. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day today.